Hello, hello, another build video here. This time we're covering the future initiative healer. Uh, this is mostly used for like raiding or legendary or something where you need like a really good healer. Uh, there is no other healing set anymore, I think, around because the future healer out heals everything and you also give a good damage boost to your group. What we are running here is like we are using the mask and the chest, the host and the knee pad for the future initiative because we want the BTSU data gloves for the offhand. Um, we can overcharge every 120 seconds that gives like um, the cooldowns back and you could also like overcharge the Achilles poles so the snipers would have a really good uh, damage boost um, or you can just use like a normal pose on the group for someone else and he has a really good damage boost. And what you really want here is the Alp Summit backpack with opportunistic. So you can shotgun a boss as example, an iron horse or a dark horse boss and you have another damage boost. The future chest gives out the damage boost here, so this is ground control and then you have here on the chest increases ground control damage bonus from 15 to 25 percent. So you're not only giving 15 percent damage out to them if you are full health, which you are basically all the time, because future works like this. If you heal someone and you are close to him, you heal yourself too, so you literally always are full armor and you give out the damage boost to the others, which is 15% without the chest and 25% with the chest. The other part we're using here is survivalist, obvious reason, it's good for healing. Uh, you have the bow, which you can shoot on enemies to break the armor plate of them. Uh, you have a fire nade, which is very effective uh, to crowd control a little bit. And for the weapons, you can use basically any weapon you like playing. I use the ACR here, it's a slow shooter. I have reformation here as a talent. So if you, I shoot an enemy in the head, I get even more healing, which is not really needed. Uh, I, I show you uh, in a second how much we have here. And for the offense, yeah, I use Scorpio. So I can CC a little and I give out the opportunistic buff to my group members. Uh, healing Hive, just the usual one, like use a Healing Hive. And then for the mods, uh, you need the healing, like a healing mod, you need the repair charges. And here it's not really important, duration or range, whatever you like, whatever you prefer. Uh, when it comes to the chem launcher, what you really want to achieve is here an uh, ally repair of a million. A million close to it. Like, don't go like really any higher or don't go lower. Uh, the reason behind that is like any DPS player is basically 800k or in the future like 900k when they have the expertise system up. Uh, and you can heal them with one pop of the charge like from the chem launcher. And if you want to heal a tank, just shoot the the uh, cam launcher directly on the tank and he will stay in the cloud afterwards which is then healing him up fully completely um, so you don't need to worry about that any more repair on the cam launcher is just a waste basically in my opinion um, so you could reroll your gear here either to skill haste or repair skills until you reach that point of 1 million and then put mods in as you need it like if you have a future part that has skill repair here already and you have then enough skill repair on your gear on the attributes just equip skill haste mods instead. Otherwise, like if you have here like skill haste, like I have, you can put a repair skills in so you reach the amount of 1 million on your cam launcher. I did that for all the parts in here. Oh, there's a mod missing. Um, so here you can see like here I have skill haste and skill haste mod uh, because I had enough repair skills already on this build. Um, overcharge is like, um, I think you know that already, you drop your hive, you walk away from it, you break it and everything is resetted basically for all the other players. Uh, we use it on Iron Horse as example on the first boss. Uh, you overcharge um, someone that is standing in the front, you use a cam launcher foam. The foam can cover like a really big area then, it holds really long. You can shoot the enemies away like the sheep gas as, as example. And you can start shooting the boss immediately. And then you have a kill pose there. Someone does a kill pose on the boss. Someone maybe has even a normal pose. So there's another damage boost if it's overcharged and you're good to go. Yeah, like I said, it's the only healer build that is really viable in my opinion anymore in the game. All the other yellow sets are totally obsolete when Future Initiative was released. Okay, anyway, I hope you like it. Uh, have fun with it. Uh, like I said, just a quick video here. And leave a comment if you like. Leave a comment if you don't like. Uh, tell me why and maybe what could be better. I don't think there could be anything better here. It's the normal Future Initiative healer build. Enjoy it. Have a good one. See you on the next one. Bye-bye.